What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. In today's video, we're going to be going over ZK Sync, another Ethereum Layer 2 solution that is rumored to have an airdrop coming. I'm going to explain exactly what ZK Sync is, explain how to bridge some Ethereum tokens over, and show you how to do some swaps. If that all sounds good, you know what to do. Pound that thumbs up button. If you're not already, sub to the channel. Find links in the description below and go follow me on Twitter. Join my free Telegram chat group and my Discord server. Here we go. Alright, come on over to zksync.io if you want to follow along. That is the web address on this one. It says rely on math, not validators. ZKSync solves Ethereum scaling with zero security compromises. So just real quick for anyone who doesn't know what this means, ZK stands for zero knowledge and sync is just what it sounds like. It is a sync. Basically that it means that the validator is able to confirm the transaction without having to get every single piece of information off of the block. So it is a zero knowledge. It has zero actual knowledge but it is able to confirm that. A lot of advanced tech and mathematics, but essentially the way it works is it speeds things up by shortening the process, thus allowing more transactions to happen faster in larger batches and then get synced to the Ethereum One network. Really cool stuff here, guys. And there has been rumored that there will be an airdrop for anyone who uses the network. And even if we miss it, this is probably going to be something big in the future, um, as well as some of the other layer twos. These guys are going to have NFTs and games and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let's just get ahead of the pack. Some Ethereum bridged over here onto the ZK Sync network and maybe even start making some transactions. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking open wallet. We're going to choose Ethereum and MetaMask. If you're using MetaMask, if you're using another wallet, just choose the one that is appropriate for you. So now it has a screen that says balances in layer two and it has your wallet address. Obviously I have no balances because I haven't done anything yet on the network here, guys. So this is what we're going to be doing here today. Go ahead and click add funds. Let's click the token, which is Ethereum, and we can put the amount we'd like to swap. And for me, I'm just gonna do a tiny amount, guys, because again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, when doing these swaps, you just wanna do a test amount to make sure everything works first. And then after that initial transaction is confirmed and you can see everything works good, then you can transfer the full amount that you would like. It's just a good practice, a little safety measure to make sure you don't get burned on anything especially when dealing with new products, new services, and things like that. There can sometimes be glitches, bugs, errors, whatever. So just a safety measure there, guys. We're just going to transfer over 0 0.01. So if everything looks good, go ahead and add funds. You're going to have to confirm the transaction. It looks like the gas fee for me is going to be about another 0.013. Everything looks good. Just go ahead and confirm. We're just going to have to wait a few minutes here for the transaction to confirm on the Ethereum network. Just wait here for a minute and I'll check back in with you after. While we're waiting for this transaction, let's go ahead down here and click night mode just to make the screen a little bit easier on our eyes, especially me. I'm in the studio here and I got a bunch of bright lights. Dark blue definitely looks much better. What do you guys think? There we go, our transaction has been confirmed on both MetaMask and here in the web wallet. And we can see here, if we'd like, we can link to transaction and we can view that on Ethereum network. It says your deposit transaction has been mined and will be processed after the required number of confirmations. Use the transaction link to track the progress. And now after clicking OK, we're back to our wallet here, the home here on the wallet.zksync.io forward slash account. And from here, it's just going to take a minute or two for the network. All right, guys, I just went and checked the documentation. I will have that link below for you as well. And it can take 
30 minutes to seven hours for this transaction to go through my coins to be recognized here in my wallet obviously i'm not going to just sit here and wait that whole time so what we can do now to kill a little bit of time is let's go ahead and look at the swap coming over to uni.zksync.io forward slash pound forward slash we do have like a uniswap version on zk sync so we come over here and it says hello zk evm we ported uniswap version 2 smart contracts and front end on the first ever fully functional zk evm and zk stands for zero knowledge evm for ethereum virtual machine to the test net so um, native solidity contracts compiled original front end using standard web3 api and native ethereum signatures so there we go and just click launch app this is a test net guys so um, if you want just go ahead and connect your wallet here it's going to ask you to go over on metamask and to do that so just connect up connect and here it's going to give you the information for the chain which is actually really good so we don't have to add anything um, in past videos you guys have seen me do that whole process so here they do it for you which is a nice feature if everything looks good just go ahead and click approve and again guys this is the test on the Rinkaby network so this isn't the fully functional ZK sync um, layer 2 but we are going to just test it on Rinkaby here so go ahead and switch network Next, we need to request some tokens from the faucet. So if you don't know what the faucet is, it's basically something on a test network that allows you to get free test tokens. So just go ahead and click that and we'll have a little bit of test network tokens to play with. To get tokens, please tweet from your account with the pre-populated text. The pre-populated text will use the hash of your wallet address in order to protect your privacy. So go ahead and tweet. It's gonna open up your Twitter account here, guys. And if you want, you can delete this afterward, but you do need to do this to um, get some tokens. So just go ahead and post that. And I don't mind having it on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it and give it a heart. There we go, successfully claimed and click OK. Now, if we check our MetaMask wallet, we should see some tokens here. Um, might take a second again. Oh, it looks like they gave us USDC instead of Ethereum. Okay, so that's a little bit interesting. Um, let's go ahead and switch it to some wrapped Bitcoin. And actually, it looked like it gave us a few different things in a balance. So we have 300 DAI, 100 LINK, 300 USD, and 0 0.01 wrapped Bitcoin. And again, guys, this is test network, so these things hold zero value in case you're wondering. It is literally just for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and swap over 200 into some wrapped Bitcoin. We're going to allow Uniswap protocol to use USDC. So go ahead and click that just like you would on any other transaction on Uniswap. The first time you use any network, it does ask for a confirmation. Once we confirm that our wallet can use this token here on Uniswap, then we'll do the actual transaction. And again, guys, the reason why we're doing all this stuff, just playing around and testing with this, even though it really is just basically the same as Ethereum on a different, you know, layer two, is because it may qualify us for an airdrop. Doing all of these little things that they suggest in the documentation and in their articles will give you a higher chance of receiving an airdrop if there is one. So we can see that went through. So now let's go ahead and click the swap. We can now trade with USDC. view everything here you can see um, basically there's no price impact very little slippage so let's go ahead and confirm and boom look how fast that was so that's the reason why we're over here on this network guys um, is basically how fast that was it's almost instant um, definitely you know way faster than the ethereum network so we're starting to see a lot of these layer twos pick up steam it's going to be really good for the ethereum ecosystem in general so excited to see this coming all right that did take about an hour but we can now see we do have some tokens in our wallet that 0.01 is available that's everything for today's video. I hope you did enjoy today's content and it was nice and easy for you to follow along and get some funds 
transferred over to the ZK Sync Layer 2. There is a possibility of an airdrop in the future, and I do expect Layer 2s to be big. Again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, smash the thumbs up, share it on social media, join my Telegram chat group, follow me on Twitter. Make sure you sub to the channel, and I'll happy crypto, and let's get that coin.